Well, anyway, this is the way that we start with the white gowns that we find in thrift stores and people donate. So everything is dyed by hand, you know, so we use different types of dyes and techniques to give the dress the effect that we want for uh, Las Catinas. So, like I say, everything is hand, hand, uh, hand dye. It's kind of difficult to do this because with uh, satin, it's very hard to get the colors that you want. So you have to keep, keep doing this, uh, rubbing the materials together. And that way, see, it's going to be a, need a lot, a lot of work. So. Basically, you use um, sea salt and sea salt and white vinegar, and this one we have three different colors together. We have yellow and we have red, and then we have tangerine. So it's layers of colors. So we see, we see what happens. See these little darlings, they're going to be so beautiful because they are going to be in uh, one of the Katrina dresses. So these little darlings had to get, uh, see this, because so you get these little darlings and then you paint them. So everything that we're doing here is handmade. It's handmade and um, really to um, create these gowns, it takes a lot, a lot of time. But um, in the end, when you see the, the final product, I mean, really to see ordinary wedding gowns to be transformed in these beautiful um, Day of the Dead gowns, I mean, it's not, it's not that it has to be like that, you know, Day of the Dead, I mean, it, it, it don't have to be the way that I make it. I just, uh, I just um, come with this idea of creating this gun, all these old guns and transform them. And uh, I have my um, assistant designer, Arlene Hall, that is right there in the other room, you know, we are working 24-7 in this, in this. I guess that, I mean, I enjoy it because it's my culture and because, you know, it's a, it's a celebration of life, you know, it's like Day of the Dead, it's not a spooky day, it's a celebration of life and really it's something that is being done um, uh, thousands of years ago uh, by our ancestors, you know, the Aztecs, the uh, Mayas, the uh, Qualcomecas, the Chichimecas, uh, the... All our um, older civilizations are used to uh, celebrate death. I mean, they celebrate life. I mean, it, it was not death for them. It, it was just a celebration of life, and and it takes months. In our in our in our um, ancient culture, uh, it it, it, it takes months. So the, the day of the dead it really start. Um, I think it was in June. It started 7,000 years ago, but the Aztecs did it uh, as we know it today. Then the Spanish came and changed it, you know, gave it their own version and changed the dates. Yeah, because it was like the Catholic influence, the Spanish influence. You know, when we, we uh, they co co colonized our, um, uh, um, when they discovered America, you know, it was all these um, Indians in the, the Catholic uh, Church, it, it, uh, it take over. So that's when, that's when they change uh, the tradition. You know, they change the dates, uh, and they and they try. Uh, they they do it like the um, what is all 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 Saints Souls. Mm -hmm. so what, what all Saints Day. All Saints Day, exactly. So, but really, this is not in a Spanish um, uh, uh, tradition. It's not a. Um, it is an Aztec, it's our ancestors, you know, it's ancient cultures, you know, so that, that's, that's what it's coming from, it's not uh, that the, um, 
Spanish um, Catholic come up with this. No, it's not. It, it, it has been, we celebrate life, our culture, our, our indig indigenous um, celebrate the, our life, uh, celebrate that forever. You know, they, 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 we, we, we don't believe that we die. You know, that's the thing. We are not believe that the, we die. It's just uh, another path that we take. It's another a step to another dimension. Let's say it like that, another dimension. And I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy this day of the day because it's my, um, it's my traditions. It's my culture. I'm from um, Apaxingan, Michoacan, Mexico. And uh, Michoacan is really, really, really um, celebrated the other day, but really it's in, um, it's in north of Mexico when it's big, especially when you're talking about Las Catrinas. You know, when you're talking about Las Catrinas, Las Catrinas is not really uh, the day of the day. Las Catrinas is just uh, a, um, the indigents, the in, I don't know, the indigenous. Indigenous, indigenous, yeah. They are uh, try to dress up uh, like like the like the rich ones, like the clero, you know, like like the the uh, uh, um, like Europeans. Europeans. So they come with all these big hats. So Guadalupe Posada uh, um, is the first one that come up with the, the 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 first drawings of what you call in La Catrina. You know, La Catrina is the dead, but it's a woman. And it's this very elegant woman, you know, with all this jewelry and fancy like the Spaniards, you know, like the Victorian times. So that's why uh, when you're talking about La Catrina, it's, it's like the one with a big hat, you know, very fancy hat and a huge gown, you know, like like the, the, the 1600s. Well, when, when was the, the 1700s and, and early 1900s? Exactly. So, so that's, that's, that's the tradition, you know, but it's fun. I mean, and then... Uh, we, uh, the Solano Ace Coalition, we started using uh, Day of the Dead six years ago. So we, we get together with Alvaro Garcia, the teacher of the um, cultural, cultural and visual arts of the Vallejo High School. So we get together and we start talking about how we can integrate the, the Day of the Dead to our, our school district. So he uh, joined Solano Ace Coalition and Six years ago, I think it was 2004, when we had the first Day of the Dead. And um, all the school, uh, all the kids come uh, to Solano Ace Coalition. And, you know, uh, you dealing with uh, kids that they are coming from low-income families, that they are abused sometimes, that they are have a lot of different trauma. So they come into Solano Ace Coalition. So we teach them about how to transform um transform um, ordinary white wedding gowns and beautiful dresses and the, the girls, especially the, the, the younger girls, they they very excited and they create their own gowns. So that's the way we start the other day, day, day in Vallejo. So uh, right now, uh, I, I, we grow, as we grow and you know, we, is all what we saw, all what Solano is Coalition one is to uh, bring uh, all our Latino community together and, 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 and become part of, of the city, you know, because it's, it's a, a community that is diverse. We are very diverse in, 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 in Solano County. So we should, I mean, where is the Latinos? Where, where, where is, uh, uh, where, where, what are we doing in, in, in Solano County? So. That's uh, why Solano Ace Coalition start Day of the Dead, and uh, we we wish for all our our, our people, you know, la raza, uh, que nos nos acompañen y que empecemos a a enseñarles a, a, a la comunidad de que uh, tenemos costumbres, tenemos tradiciones que debemos de seguir y, y que somos ricos en cultura, porque la verdad estoy orgullo, orgulloso de ser latino. ¿Por qué? Porque Nuestra cultura es rica, riquísima. Tenemos una cultura increíble que ningún otro uh, continente tiene. I mean, tenemos una cultura riquísima. Entonces, este, seguir nuestras tradiciones, tradiciones es, a, a, es algo que tenemos que enseñarle a nuestros hijos para que nuestras costumbres no se pierdan. Porque son costumbres, es cultura, son nuestras raíces. 
Y este, entonces, pues, por eso mi organización se enfoca mucho en la educación um, acerca de enfermedades venéreas, especialmente el SIDA, porque el SIDA nos está, nos está este, afectando muchísimo aquí en la, en la, a nuestra comunidad latina. Entonces, ¿por qué? Porque, porque pues, uh, nuestra cultura no nos deja hablar acerca de algo que es muy común, hablar de sexo, hablar de, de condones, hablarle a nuestros hijos de, de, la, de real, la realidad de la vida, pues proteger a nuestros hijos, porque en ocasiones decimos, bueno, pues la escuela los va a enseñar, la escuela les va a decir, no es cierto, la escuela no les va a enseñar nada. Y la verdad, uh, el día de mañana, cuando uno de nosotros, uno de nuestros hijos viene y nos dice, ma, pa, estoy infectado con el virus del HBI, o tal vez estoy embarazada y tengo sífilis. Pero entonces son cosas que se pueden prevenir. Nosotros, como padres de familia, como padres latinos, pues debemos de hablarnos a nuestros hijos de la realidad. No debemos de esconder una cosa que es tabú. El sexo, las relaciones sexuales y, y las enfermedades venéreas son tabú. Han sido tabú en nuestra cultura latina por por generaciones. A mí, mi mamá a mí nunca me dijo nada acerca de un condón y mi papá. Entonces, esa es una de las uh, formas principales. Es, es la manera en la cual nuestros jóvenes ahorita, ahorita se están infectando con el virus del VIH. Ahorita. Y el, y el virus del HIV, HIV empezó hace, hace um, 30 años para atrás. A mí, en los 80 es cuando de verdad el virus del HIV estaba... estaba acabando con muchísimas uh, personas y en el principio pensaban que era una enfermedad, que era nada más de la gente homosexual, de la gente gay, pero no, es, es, era mentira, es una, es una enfermedad universal, es una enfermedad que ataca a cualquier uh, uh, persona, no importando el género, el sexo, la religión, nada, nada, de todos te va a atacar y vas a ser afectado un día. Ah, lo, lo más triste y lo, más, lo, más, lo, lo que a mí me, lo que a mí me, me, me da más, más, más tristeza es que tenemos ya años, a mí son 30 años con el virus uh, del HBI y, y no nos importa. A nosotros como padres no nos importa dónde se van a ir nuestros hijos, no nos importa nada y no les decimos, muchas veces no les decimos acerca de los condones. Usar, usar condón es, uh, por lo menos estás protegiendo, ¿sí? ¿Verdad? se puede romper el condón, hay, hay, hay también probabilidades, es el, es el 99% with, with condo, condoms. Pero anyway, so, volviendo a, a, al tema del Día de los Muertos, so, eso es lo que hacemos aquí uh, nuevamente en Solano Ace Coalition, sí, transformar cultura, tradiciones uh, en educación. Increíble, pero sí ha funcionado. Porque ahorita pues todo el mundo nos llama que, que si las cartinas pueden venir a este evento, que si las cartinas pueden venir a, a otro evento. Y, y este fue un evento que, que es, pues, empezó Solano Escolation seis años atrás. Nosotros uh, empezamos a hablar acerca del virus del HBI, integrándolo con uh, el Día de los Muertos, una celebración de vida. Ahorita muchas otras uh, grupos y organizaciones nos siguen y... y empiezan a ver que sí está funcionando a educar a nuestra comunidad por medio de la cultura y el arte, porque esto es un arte, amén. No es nomás pintar calaveritas, este es un arte a transformar todos estos, estos vestidos en, en cosas fascinantes, es arte. The next step, you know, after you paint your skull, so you give the uh, ice effect because this one is going to be for the uh, ice uh, Katrina. So the, this Katrina is going to be like nice, icy, cold look. So we go and we sprinkle her and it has to have that little icy color. Then it's not that much, but it's a little touch. 
I want to stay right there for drying. And now I want to do all these ones. Yeah, I, I say like one hour for everyone. Little icy touch. Okay. Little bit, it's a little touch. So. So everyone is just placed by hand. So you put a little eyes first. So you put your, your eye. Then you go and do your little, oops. Your little. Put right there. And everything, my thing is, everything is about visual. Like visual, you just have to be what your eyes are seeing in that time and that's what it's about. So my gowns are created for visual effects. So when you see this, you will be like, wow, that's cool, see? Snowflake with the pretty blue eyes. It match the, uh, the gown, so it gives the effect that I want to my gown. So this one is going to be the, there's no white, uh, no, it's going to be the ice, the ice Katrina. See, yeah, it's the, the, the snow Katrina. Ice Katrina. So we have one, two, three, this is the fourth one. This is not finished. Arlene just start this one. I just finished, um, I hand paint, I hand, um, Guy, this one is a couple spots that they are not perfect, but sometimes some of the gowns they have a lot of grease and a lot of uh, spots that they are very hard to cover. But we managed to make it look like something very different. Hmm. That's what I said. So now you wait again.